Hello again, Dinky Danny here. For everyone who's been subscribed to me for a long time and have been watching my videos for a while, you'll probably notice a trend that I've been doing less and less editing in all of my videos and I haven't been getting as many reviews out of games that I've been playing. And there's a few reasons for this. One is because I've been pretty busy with work and I just haven't had as much time to be doing them. But the main reason for that is that I haven't been taking care of my computer. I have this Toshiba satellite and I've had it for about two to three years. And there's some issues that have been going on with this and I've been having some trouble doing the reviews and getting some editing and using the software. Normally I use Pinnacle Studio 14 and just about six months ago probably my computer started shutting down randomly and it would just shut down no notice nothing at all and I didn't know what was going on and it didn't happen all that often so I didn't worry about it too much and it's been getting worse and worse so it was to the point where it would shut down four or five times a day just randomly at certain times and I would always feel my computer and it was incredibly hot and I always thought that this laptop was just a hot laptop and it was just supposed to be like that and I found out I went onto the internet and I figured I'm, I'm gonna have to get a new computer so I decided to research it a little bit see if there's anything I could do to fix this computer and try and get it working a little bit better and what I found is that with these Toshiba satellites and probably some other models of laptops is that the fan, you can see a fan vent on the side and also mine has a vent on the bottom. And what happens is the heat sink in there will usually heat up and then it uses the fan to blow the air out and kind of cool it off. And what the problem was is this thing collected so much dust in there, there were clumps of dust and it was clogging it up so there was no way to cool the computer down and when it would overheat it would just shut down to prevent anything from getting damaged so what I had to do I, I originally started and I just blew some uh, compressed air into the vent and some people said that that might help but I, my problem is too 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 uh, deep I guess and what happened was I, I wasn't even sure if this was the problem I blew some compressed air in there and my computer started shutting off quicker it would shut the off within like twenty minutes of being turned on so i figured i i shouldn't have blown the air in there i obviously pushed pushed the dust in more but i figured that was the main problem so what i decided to do is i took this whole laptop apart and it was it was kind of difficult to take apart i had to take it off in sections i had to take the keyboard part out unscrew some things under there but there were tutorials and stuff with the user manuals of how to how to take them apart and fix them and even YouTube videos you can look up. But for anybody who has their computer getting extremely hot, make sure and check that the fan is clear. I pulled probably three or four chunks of dust out of there, just clumps like the size of a dime. And after doing that, I've, I did that about three days ago, and it hasn't shut off since, and it's a lot cooler to the touch, so it's not overheating. I'm pretty sure that that's the main problem that was causing that. And so hopefully now this computer won't shut down anymore. It was becoming a real pain because I'd, I'd start a review and I'd go through like an hour or two of editing and it would just shut down. And I was lucky because when it came back up, it would already have a thing that said, do you want to continue from where you last left off? And it would save that, save that, um, that review and the editing that I had done and I could start from right there. So that kind of leads into the second problem that I found with this computer. And it's kind of just me being an idiot, I guess. I was I started using Pinnacle Studio about eight months ago probably and every time I go in I'd edit a video and when I first started it would be real smooth and I could you know I'd click preview and I could see up in the uh, display area you know I'd be able to watch my video see which parts were being edited and if I had a fade it would be smooth and after a while it started getting real choppy and I wasn't able to watch the preview anymore so I had to start editing my videos by disabling the video so I couldn't see what video I was editing and I had to just go by the audio and decide which parts I wanted to clip it so it was really adding a lot of work to all of my reviews even just my regular regular videos with me sitting in front of the camera I'd have to disable what I was doing you know I couldn't see what I was doing in the video I had to go by audio to do that and I just recently found the problem that's really been bogging my computer down. What made me figure out what was causing it is my computer would constantly be full. The hard drive would always be full. And people using Pinnacle Studio, definitely check this out because it's probably doing it on your computer too. And what happened was every time I would uh, do a review or any type of editing in there, it would save a backup. So if, if my computer did shut down or it had to uh, 
start it back up from a backup, it would save a two and a half to three gigabyte file. And it was called a render file. And it would save it in a hidden folder under all users. And I had no idea that this folder was there and I kept wondering why my computer was always full of data. I deleted everything out of my computer and then two weeks later it would be completely full again. And every time I edited a video, it would save one of those files. So I downloaded a software called DiskPie. You can just Google it. D-I-S-K-P-I-E. And what it does is it just brings up a pie chart where all the data is in your hard drive and it'll tell you where everything's saved and it had probably 60% of my hard drive was filled with those backup files from my Pinnacle Studio. So I had to go in, make, make those folders not hidden anymore, and I had to make them, they were um, op, uh, operating system protected. So normally you're not supposed to delete files that are in those hidden folders. So I had to disable that, go in and delete all those backups, and it cleared up about 80 gigabytes of space on my computer. So I haven't been able to edit hardly anything, and recently since I fixed this thing, it looks like it's going to work a lot better, it looks a lot smoother, and hopefully I'll be able to get a lot more editing done. And it was mainly my fault, just not <laughs> not taking care of my computer, and I had no idea what, what things were causing the problems that I was having. So just doing a little bit of research, I was able to figure out what to fix. And basically I just wanted to put this video up first for people using Pinnacle Studio. Make sure you check into those folders because it's probably saving backups on yours as well and it's really going to bog your computer down. And then also for people that have really hot laptops, check on that fan. Make sure it's working properly because I, I was about to get a brand new computer and I just did a little bit of research and was able to find that problem. So I, I wanted to put this video up to let everyone know about that. And also I'm hoping that I'll be able to do a lot more editing now. Hopefully get you know I'll actually be able to see what I'm editing. So it should be a lot a lot better. I'll have a lot more fun doing it. And that mainly that's the one reason that I haven't been able to do a lot of reviews and just editing in general. So hopefully you'll see some more reviews coming from me. And I'm Dinky Dana. Thanks for watching.